friends, and welcome back to Vintage Story 118.5. Another rainy day. Okay, well, looks like I'm working in the rain today. We've got to get those fired, but before we worry about that, grab those guys, and got a little silver to tuck away here, oops, actually I think it's here, that goes in there, and here are our eight lumps of fat. And we're going to take the eight lumps of fat, and we are going to combine them with these and make oil lamps. And it's time to get some light in a couple of places here. Brighten that up down on that end nicely. I'm going f four and four here. Because this. This has been problematic, to say the least. Yeah, roughly center. Say about there. to get some long-term light up here, which we will eventually get this space up here sorted out, it's just not real high priority, I'm not using it for anything personally, I just want to reduce the spawn possibilities. Yes, sir. Well, you've already got torches up here. Basically go around and gather all the metal torch holders from everywhere in the castle. Except for here, we're going to leave those because they're important, but...
I have a bunch of them stored away. I just have to figure out where I have put them. Pull that. And put this guy up here. I want to hold on to one of these so that I can do this. This is parchment. And while I just did that basically backwards, the heck? Hmm, hang on. Okay, there's an unlit lamp. And there's a lit lamp. Oh, okay. I see, I see. There it is. That, my friends, is a paper lantern. Which should be substantially brighter than this. And it's going to give us a lot more light here. And I've looked into what, what is necessary in order to uh, make... <coughs> more of these paper lanterns and basically we need oil lamps and parchment and sticks um plain cloth uh nope so to make parchment you can either use shears and uh, hides, or you can use linen fiber pulp and a, a sieve. But one of our mods here, this is one of the things that normally we wouldn't have available to us, but we get the recipe, and it's awesome. Okay, it's only small hides, apparently. Scraped small hide. Soak scrape tight in a barrel of weak tannin solution. Okay, that's... So soak tight, scrape tight. Gotcha. All right. I've got a dozen medium scrape tights. But... I do not have Okay, hold up here. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, so Well, you are just talking up a storm up there, aren't you? I've got to get some of this stuff out of my inventory. We've got a number of trees to plant. But I don't want to plant them until I've got my landscaping done. Um, we need to do some fishing today. See if we can catch some fish for the ocelots. Um, I just wanted to see how bright that is and that is really nice and bright um 
makes me tempted to actually use it to light it up here. If we can make a bunch more of them, I like that a lot. All right, we're going to leave those torch holders up. None out here. We'll leave that down in the kitchen for now. Though, it could be a great addition. You know, actually... It, well, let's not get distracted. It could really be a great addition to our, our chambers. It could, it could. Alright. there Poor chisel. There is a mod that allows you to uh, make a wooden mallet and uh, flint chisels. And you might go, what? Flint chisels? But actually our ancestors did make flint chisels. They were called a burin. So it's not completely out of place but I've already got so many mods I'm worried about adding more mods speaking of which actually I did add a couple of mods to add some new fish species to the map as well as possibly some new humanoids I call them humanoids because they're not quite people but they're not quite not people okay so they're nails and strips Hey, oh, what, what you doing? This whole randomly throwing... I don't get it. W lately, we've been seeing this thing where, with a, with a right-click and certain combinations, we'll throw something out of our inventory that's not even in our hand. It's kind of... kind of wacky-doodle. Kind of wacky-doodle. All right. There they are. Okay, I don't know why. Oh, hey, uh, now. You come here, my friends. <laughs> I just remembered something. I did, I did. See, this small scrap metal brazier, it takes some lumps of fat, some firewood, a uh, hammer, and some metal scraps, and it makes a uh, scrap metal brazier. Now, this provides light level 17, number one. Number two, it burns constantly, basically nonstop, so it's always an available heat source. 
and they work really super duper in a fireplace. I had meant to check and see what all we needed because I had found my scrap metal, my metal scraps. Scrap metal, black bronze, copper, and iron, meteoric iron, and then we've got these uh, uh, scrap metal braziers here that are the same thing but square, and that's what I was looking for here. It takes 32 charcoal, lumps of fat, etc., and that is the one I want to make right there. Right there. I got to scrap some metal. I got that. And we'll need to grab some of our charcoal that we've got in the pit. And I need to go get some fat. Alright. Now that I found these, you go up there. Yeah, it's some real light in here. I want it brighter. Plus, I want to get hold of those. Good light on both ends of the hallway. I think one more torch over here. And that should be well lit. I, at the very least, want some decent light on both ends of this. Because it has been problematic. Got that lit up over there. This entire side over here is completely unlit. thing about these holders is that we don't have to worry about them going out all right let's get you some light up here before it gets dark Isn't going to be as bright as it was with the torches, but we got you lit. And that frees up my lantern to 
use appropriately. one of those I know I just came up here and put them up I'll have to fire some more of them I guess maybe I'll have to give him my lantern temporarily just to just to even things out. One second. Okay. Um yep -a -doo. we need not quite the whole stack of them. I think it's four total. And we're going to need some firewood. And this should be standard firewood, or is this the old firewood? That's the aged firewood. Okay, we'll actually have to wax them out here. And I guess, because I kind of feel bad. Tell you what, bud. Since I'm running off with that. I'm going to I'm going to give you this for now, okay? It's a, I'm only lending it to you. Okay? Just be aware, I'm only lending it to you. That's sage firewood, right? So, I'm going to come up here, go to this box right here, and I'm going to put the materials for that brazier in here, because right now I've got other things that I really need to get done, and uh, I don't want to get tremendously distracted, just partially distracted. If you know what I'm saying. been waiting for my hunger to get down to a point that it's worth eating this very good food. And I want to get those in there so they are out of the way. Don't know why I'm carrying around my gears. Yeah, that is really nice and bright. That is worth investing into. And I, I, I think also we'd be able to actually, you know, like set it into a floor ceiling kind of situation so it could provide light from below it, on one floor and from above on another floor. Really, truly nice and bright. All right, we got all of that dealt with. I'm holding on to those. Oh, yes. There is this thing called the entire point of why 
I was trying to make room in my inventory. There we go. I'm just going to put those two flax fibers in there for now. These do not need to be in there whatsoever. And I will stow those in that last piece of parchment. Um, we've got our seeds. And here we go. These are wattle fences. And we're going to make a nice collection of wattle fences. And I guess I'm just going to have to work in the rain. I've let the time push a little too late here. I think it just caught some grass. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'll, go, I'll have to watch for movement of the line because I can't see the float anymore. A neon Tetra, huh? I want to see how these lights are looking. There we go. So much better. And that light's that up down there, which makes me happy. And our gas lamp is... Doing good there. Plenty of light in here. Enough light in here to be able to be guided through. Yeah, it's kind of dark right there. So we'll need another light there. That made a big difference in here. So happy our pumpkins are grown out. light up here. Damn it. Gonna need a little more light up here. He is fine on this floor. I need probably one more lamp up top. See what this kitchen light is like. Oh yeah, wow. Okay. Officially, <laughs> officially moving to paper lanterns. Oh, officially moving to paper lanterns. A bunch, bunch of butt munches out here in the water. Yeah. Uh, I guess we'll have to check it out from the wall. Because we should be lighting up the courtyard to a degree. Um, between everything. Yeah, see the light coming out the windows? Lighting up the landing, which is what I was hoping would happen. That wasn't very polite, jackass. Some people's kids.
Wow, you're as good a shot as I am. Impressive. Wow, yeah, that is that is dark there. <laughs> but I wanted to see the view from here. Very nice. All right, well. I can say I am pleased with where we're at. Wished I could get a little more done today, but getting light up had become so high priority. Going to have to do a bunch more lamps or uh, swap some torches around because we've got to get that far side lit up. But in the meantime, I'm going to sleep and in the morning, I guess we're back to it.